it's a little upgrade on the Tesla mechanical oscillator. I had now made three input ports to reduce the resistance and it behaves different. Frequency is a little bit lower now and the power seems to be increased. Look at the minimum amount to run it. It's quite some. That's too less. Frequency is about 30 hertz, I believe. 31, 32 hertz. Oh, 33 hertz. 34 hertz. All right. Look at this amount. Oh well, yeah, it's a little bit variable, but what if we crank it up a bit? Let's say half a bar. Look, look what happened. Holy crap! Yeah, well, let's say it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, maybe even less now. Oh well, compressor is out of there, I think. Fuck, it does something really weird about one bar. It's, it's it's amplifying itself so hard, or it springs so hard back and forth that it's gonna destroy the spring if I push it up more. It never did it. I even could run it far above the 10 bars without doing that, without spring and without the thing. I also um, made the chambers a little bit smaller. So the maximum is now five millimeters shorter. So, I'm not sure if you can see it, probably not. But now this intake valve, let's say, of the piston is aligning the others exactly on this hole now at maximum length of stroke and the other way too. And it also exactly matches in the output openings timing so if the output opens here the input opens too and because of the channels are in opposite sides it vibrates but hey thanks for watching